There's a myth that all HDMI cables are the same, from your $5 cable to your $500 cable. Well, that's not true. If you're investing in a 4K HDR home theater system, you'll need to also invest in the right 4K cables. Otherwise, you'll never actually experience true 4K or HDR, which means that even with the most expensive TV or projector, you would never see the same performance as when you saw it in the showroom. You may have even noticed that some 4K displays were much better than others, even though they were also labeled as 4K. Why is that? The term 4K actually refers to a specification that determines how good the picture quality will be, which isn't one standard number, but a range. Here's an example of the best 4K spec. It has a 4K pixel count, but that isn't everything that goes into making a display 4K. A higher picture refresh rate means there will be a smoother transition between frames. This number represents the number of pixels receiving color information. The bit rate refers to the number of colors available to each pixel. The higher the better, making a big difference. Finally, gigabits per second is the data bandwidth needed to carry all of this information to create the picture. As anything increases in the spec, a higher bandwidth is needed. So, as you see, the term 4K encompasses a wide range. Anything less than 18 gigabits per second bandwidth is on the low end range of the 4K spectrum. As we elevated our bandwidth up to now 4K, the old bandwidth used to be only 10 gigabits in aggregate. However, with Rev 2.0 and the new 4K 60, we actually require 18 gigabits of bandwidth. This is a very big deal because what a lot of people don't understand is that when you make the jump, as we call it here in the lab, a lot of things happen besides the bandwidth. A lot of things happen on the I2C bus or the DDC line, which carries all the HDCP and the EDID information. There's now new scrambling techniques. There's new error corrections. There's many different attributes that are added when we take the jump. So when you're making any kind of judgment on a 4K product, you've got to understand that it's not just it worked before and now it doesn't under 4K, it must be the video. That's really quite wrong. In fact, in many cases, it's not the video. It's usually another artifact of the, of the interface. So be careful when you're doing that. I mean, be careful as you start looking and researching new products, especially in the 4K envelope, because some of them, in fact, most of them, don't even know these little attributes I told you about even exist. A manufacturer can claim that their cable is 4K, even if it only supports the lower range of the 4K spectrum. This means that cables labeled at 4K may not be capable of a full 18 gigabit output. And even worse, many cable claims are flat out lies. The construction of the cheap cable is inferior, using mixed materials instead of pure copper, and old technology that doesn't allow it to ever deliver full 18 gigabits per second. Some may not even get to 10.2 gigabits per second. So how do you trust that you're actually getting a 4K cable that can deliver the best, true performance? Look for a seal of approval by an independent testing company like DPL Labs. DPL Labs puts every cable through a rigorous torture test to ensure that it not only works as claimed, but will work with a variety of sources and displays. If it doesn't pass the test, it won't get the seal of approval. Metro Home Theatre Group is the leader in developing high-definition HDMI cables and solutions that deliver the ultimate 4K HDR performance. We engineer cables with our latest cutting-edge technology and use only the highest-grade materials and have gone through and passed rigorous torture testing, ensuring that they will work as claimed.